Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we have this iPhone in front of us and all we're talking about today is the control center. Now, how do you fix the control center on your iPhone? What are some things that you can do about it? Now, it really depends on what you mean by fixing the control center, but I'm gonna show you some different things. For example, a very common issue that people have is not being able to access the control center from within apps, because right now, if I go in here and swipe down, I can get inside a control center, no problem. But it may happen that if you don't have these, uh, this option enabled, for example, if you are now in the settings, you're not even able to get there. And by swiping down from the right side, you're not able to get inside, which may be kind of annoying. So in the settings, you have to go to the control center and make sure that access within apps is actually turned on. This is a very useful feature because even inside apps, you can swipe down and change the brightness or switch from Wi-Fi to the cellular or whatever you do, but you have the option to actually change it up. So that's really cool as well. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Now, when it comes to customizing the control center, as you are already here inside of this section, here you have the option to choose which controls are included and which are those which are excluded basically are not part of the control center. Right now, if I swipe down, there are some things which are always going to be there. For example, this this section right here, the brightness, the volume, music player, Wi-Fi, all the stuff is just not customizable. But from the from this section down, the torch, timer, calculator, all these things are just there to be customized. So as you can see, torch, timer, calculator, camera, low power mode, these are things which I have included. If I want to mix it up and change the order, for example, I can bring the low power mode to be the first toggle there. You can see low power mode is right there. And I can switch up the order as much as I want. That would be also customizing it or making it more useful for you. However, if you scroll down a bit more, you can see more controls and those have the green plus icon. So if you use, for example, music recognition a lot, you might just click on the plus icon right here. And right now, when I swipe down to the control center, I can actually find it right there. So that's very useful. Also, if I want to customize it, I can bring it to the top completely like this. And that's very good as as well. So it's up to you to decide how you want to customize it, how you want to use it. So that's basically everything. I'll probably wrap up this video right now because there isn't much to talk about. Control Center is a pretty simple feature, but in case it doesn't work for you, something is probably going on with the software because it's, it's just a 100% software feature. So if anything doesn't work, go to the general section and go to the software update. And all you want to make sure is that you have the latest version of iOS available up and running. So that's the best option. Uh, iOS updates includes many different things, including control center updates and like battery optimization, everything general in terms of this, uh, in terms of the software is included in the iOS update. So in case you have a problem with the control center, try updating to the iOS and see if anything changes. Chances are that it will actually fix it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video useful. For more content and tutorials like this one, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe so you never miss future tutorials, and I will see you in the next video.